What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Abnormal Tutorial. Now if you want them clean, CLEAN one-arm pull-up gains, stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to learn your first one-arm pull-up. Now, first off, before you even start training for the one-arm pull-up, you have to be comfortable with regular pull-ups. So if you can't do around 10 or 12 regular pull-ups, check out my video on how to increase your pull-up numbers. Alright, the first step for the one-arm pull-up is just a simple single arm bar hang. Now in order to do this, you've got to retract and pull your scapula. So this is conditioning that bottom portion of the one-arm pull-up. This will also build up your forearm and wrist strength, which is essential for the one-arm pull-up. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I always include these, these staple of all pulling exercises scapula pull-ups. What I've noticed with the one-arm pull-up, a lot of people struggle at the start of the movement. They can get up past halfway because they have the bicep and forearm strength, it's just that initial pull action. So as you can see, I braved the London cold for you guys, I took off my top so you can see the, the muscles actually retracting and depressing in the scapula. Now the one-arm pull-up is a really intense exercise so you want to make sure that your shoulders are really warm and they can work in all kinds of ranges of motion. Rotating side to side is just going to stabilize and strengthen that shoulder joint. You want to make sure that you're gripping hard onto the bar. The bar shouldn't be holding you, you should be holding onto the bar if that makes sense. By now your shoulders should be fairly warm so what you want to do is then start doing pull-ups but with four fingers on one of the opposite arms. This is just going to emphasize and put more stress on the working arm. Because the one arm pull up is so intense, you want to stick to around one to five reps, no more than five. Again, take long rest times and I would advise doing around three sets. Once you're comfortable with doing three sets of five reps, you then move on to three fingers and then just keep doing that until you get to two fingers and then one finger and eventually you will have the one arm pull up. With these movements, you want to make sure that you do them nice, slow and controlled. Again, this will just prevent injury. Once you pull up, technique wise, um, try and pull towards the arm that's being worked. And again, that just gives you a little idea and feel of how it would feel like doing it just with one arm. So you also need good core stability to balance yourself when you're just hanging on one arm. You can also do all these progressions doing chin-ups. Uh, it's slightly easier doing chin-ups. The, the one-arm pull-up is, is, in my opinion, more challenging. Okay, once you're down to two or one fingers, I recommend trying jumping negative one-arm pull-ups. So you just want to jump up, control yourself, try and hold it. <laughs> I was a bit fatigued there. And then just lower yourself as slow as you can all the way down. Another great variation of the one-arm pull-up is just doing it but using your hand for assistance. If you can go all the way up and down, then that means that your wrists and forearms need strengthening. That's all you need to work on really. If you're struggling to get up, uh, then you'd probably need more bicep strength. So this is a good way to, to test kind of your strength levels with a one-arm pull-up. Alright, so we've talked about a couple of progressive exercises that use just your body weight. Now in my opinion, I personally use this way to learn the one-arm pull-up and that was by using resistant bands. So you start off with a heavy resistant band, maybe a, a green or a blue band and then you work your way down towards a lighter band such as the black or red band. And again you just perform the one-arm pull-up, uh, pulling down on the opposite arm and doing around 1-5 to five reps, no more than that. I'll provide a link for you guys so you can purchase your own resistant bands. I got mine online on Amazon, but depending on what country you live in, I'm sure they might have them in your local sports store. Another reason for training with resistant bands is it destabilizes your body, so you constantly have to engage your core to keep your, yourself balanced in a way. And as you can see, using the black band, it's a lot more harder because the black band provides less resistance. So you want to be training the one arm pull up around two times a week, two three times a week because it's quite taxing on the body. Um, just listen to yourself. If you feel fatigued in your forearms or biceps, then just rest. Uh, rest is another important, important part of training. If you've managed to get onto the red band, you basically have the one arm pull up 
the red band provides hardly any assistance. One last progressive exercise you can do that will help for the one on pull up is using rings. Now with rings you can adjust the heights and if you put one higher than the other it's like doing an assisted one on pull up. Because it's not a fixed bar, again, it's nice and comfortable on the wrist. So just to recap, you've got your scapular pull ups that you should perform first as a part of a warm up, you've got your bar hangs, then you've got your single arm bar hangs with a rotation. Not to forget doing the pull ups but with four fingers, then three fingers, shortly after two fingers, and then eventually one finger. You got your negative one arm pull ups or your eccentric one arm pull ups. You got your assisted one arm pull ups but using your opposite hand. Your resistant band assisted one arm pull ups using the green band first, the black band, and then eventually the lightest uh, assisted band which is the red one. Once you're on the red band, you can either literally just drop the red band and try to do the one on pull up because you're already there. The red band provides hardly any assistance, so just keep practicing. Hate to say it, but we've come to the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you get on. Drop a comment, like, share. Most importantly, subscribe. It's been your boy Tayo from Abnormal Beings. Peace.